Right. I've called this meeting of the company's team leaders and staff reps to discuss the RMT's effort to force us to recognise them. We're going to send out a pretty clear message to the union that we're not going to be strong-armed. And we will remind the RMT that because of their reputation, they are entirely responsible for our actions. We will not submit to the well-known strong-arm tactics in this company. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. They have negotiated everything else away from the other employers. The bastards. They've bled them dry. Bled them dry. And they put their members' welfare above all. Never the good of the company. It's never the good of the company. How we are supposed to maximise our profits by improving the lot of the workers is beyond me. It's beyond me. All right. Right. That RMT has got nothing to crow about. <laughs> crow about. <laughs> I get it. Shut up. After all, what has the RMT and unions in general ever done for people? Maternity leave. What? Maternity leave, sir? Oh, yeah, yeah, they did deliver on that. Deliver, very good. Shut <laughs> up. Pension schemes. Yes. Do you know how hard it used to be to be able to retire without fear? Do you remember that, sir? All right, OK. Well, maternity leave and pension schemes are two things the unions have done for us. The RMT gives top-of-the-range free legal representation to its members who suffer accidents and assaults at work, fighting for compensation. Well, obviously legal representation. Legal representations are given. You, you know, that goes without saying. But apart from maternity leave, pension schemes, legal representation, what has the RMT ever done for workers? Sick pay. They led the fight for the minimum wage. And the Health and Safety at Work Act. Oh, paid annual leave. Yeah, yeah, we never would have got that without the union, sir. Or the shorter working week agreement. Oh, and the RMT certainly know how to drive a hard bargain. They're the only ones that can, really. OK, OK. But apart from maternity leave, pension schemes, free legal representation, injuries compensation, sick pay, the minimum wage, the Health and Safety Act, paid annual leave, shorter working weeks and collective bargaining. What has the RMT union ever done for working people? Pay increases? Pay increases? Fuck off.